Do you want to know the best industry to help you become a first generation cash flow millionaire? Well, in this episode of the Seven Figure Squad, I'm going to share with you one sexy, special, one of a kind industry and three reasons why you should get involved in it today, starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Sapali here, hailing to you from Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, back from Maui. And as promised, I'm going to be sharing with you a live workshop, some excerpts from a live workshop I did in snowy Seattle, Washington in this episode. Now, through all the snow, all the canceled flights, all the uncleared streets there in the Pacific Northwest, guys and gals got it done where we were able to still get together there in Tacoma, Washington. In this live workshop, I'm gonna give you the three reasons why the life insurance industry is the industry to get involved in and why it will help you make millions. It's helped my wife and I earn in the last six years over $6.3 million so this might be an opportunity for you to take out your notepad, your notebook, and start jotting down some notes. All right, let's get into it. Number one, there is no better industry with low barriers of entry to help you experience the benefits of entrepreneurship. There are many benefits to becoming a business owner and an entrepreneur. And again, there's no better industry to help you do that than the life insurance industry. With countless training on money, there's no better industry to teach you how to win and what to do with the money when you get it. Here's a clip of some of the fiscal tax benefits of becoming an entrepreneur. Let's check this out. Number two, if you wanna make more money, consider entrepreneurship. Okay, entrepreneurship. I, I see a lot of SUVs here, you guys buy, uh, uh, right? You guys love your SUVs. Smart car, by the way, for this type of weather. Okay? Do you realize, according to the Trump Cuts Jobs Act, if you buy a car over 6,000 pounds, you're allowed this, a big tax deduction if you buy that through a business. 20, 000, I think that's $20,000. So Uncle Sam incentivizes you through, through your taxes, $20,000 to purchase a car over 6,000 pounds through your business. So imagine you say, hey, Uncle Sam, 50% of this is for transporting my kids, but 50% of this is for my business, for marketing purposes and going from, for example, if you go from here to a client's house, go from here to another client's house, go from here to another conference, guess what? That's a tax deductible conversation. My, my breakfast uh, uh, brunches with my parents, since my mom's uh, involved in the business. My breakfast brunches, even though we're having brunch, we're talking about other things, 50% of the conversation naturally goes to where? Talking about business. So that, that qualifies then for a business tax meal deduction. Correct. So how would you like to have your, okay, let me ask you this question. Who here's got, who here's got a cell phone? Okay, Wi-Fi at the house? Um, you guys have a car? And you guys eat food? <laughs> human. Th you're human, right? Those four things, the, the, they're human needs today. If you do that through the context of entrepreneurship in your business, guess what they become? A tax deduction. You can't do that as an employee, but you can do it as an entrepreneur. I got a video out there. How I drive my Rolls Royce for 24 bucks a month. <laughs> True story. I, my, I, my accountant, do, okay, if I buy it through my company, da, 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 tax deductions, uh, depreciate, right, the depreciation. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Matt, your net payment for your Rolls Royce is 24 bucks a month. So what would you prefer as a daily driver, a Honda Accord or a Rolls Royce? <laughs> kind of cool, right? But I, I do that through a business. These are some of the small things we would learn in the, in the rules of the money game. Remember the third question I was asked, you like money, you like a lot of money? Do you know the rules? This is part of learning the rules of the money game. Interesting, right? Once I learned the rules of the money game and how to make money work for me, I never looked back. I believe the last time I took a paycheck from somebody else was back in 2003. By the way, I can't tell you how empowering it feels to know that no matter what happens, pandemic, recession, setbacks, layoffs, that through all, all that, none of our guys throughout this pandemic was laid off, was set back, required a stimulus check or help from the government through a PPP loan. Our business is not only stayed in business, but we expanded in business throughout the pandemic of 2020. In addition to that, we also did an episode last year on how millionaires turn taxes into an asset. So please, if you want to check out that video, 
click right here. And now on to the second point. The life insurance industry is an essential recession and pandemic proof industry. Oh, by the way, did I say wealthy too as well? The biggest game changer for me is realizing that hard work necessarily does not pay off. When I was in the Marine Corps, a lot of our Marines worked really hard, but never got paid. I know a lot of my friends, they left to become contractors, cops, firefighters, respected positions in their communities, but working hard in industries that are either affected by the economy, the pandemic, the recession, or sadly was never wealthy to begin with, and they never got paid well. So in this clip, I'm gonna share with you how getting involved in the right industry can be the fast track to helping you become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Let's check this out. Number three, if you wanna make more money, consider working in the right industry. How many guys know you work hard? Right, is it fair to say you guys work hard? Samoans, uh, 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 my, my, my Samoan um, instructor, my, my marksmanship instructor in the Marine Corps, he was Samoan. He taught me a haka, he taught us all a haka. Before, before we got, right? Like, bro, I, we know the whole hockey. Before we geared up, we, we're sitting there, a bunch of Marines, ah, we're doing the, ah, <laughs> we're doing the whole thing. Before we launched into uh, the Persian Gulf War, before we launched into Operation Restore up in Somali Africa, Stats time, time, hey, <laughs> he's, he's doing the beat. We're getting, oh, 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 he's doing the, he's doing the, he's doing the, he's doing the whole thing. And guess what? I took that hard work, I just took that hard work into an industry that would pay me. Some of the, some, my, my, my platoon in, uh, believe it or not, in the, my platoon in Okinawa, Japan, 25% of them were Samoan. Long name tapes, because long vowels and names. <laughs> That's why I, at that time I asked you, what's your real name? What's your real name? It's not just Kenny. I know it's like four more syllables after that, first name. <laughs> Right? Mike, that's not the real name. <laughs> right? So th those, are, those are some of the things that I see our communities that do a lot of hard work. Well, why don't we work hard at the right things? Why don't we take a blue collar work ethic in a white collar world? Or in a green collar world? Work hard in the right industry. Because it is, in so what does that mean? When you work hard in the right industry, it gets you paid more for your effort. How many of you long-term would love men? How many of you like long-term would look working with your brain instead of your hands? After a while, the body starts to break down. Guys, I'm 47 years old. I know what it means like to have the body break down. I get L4, L5, I get bad knees, all this stuff from the military, but I wanna work with my head versus my, my hands. That's this industry, it's a very wealthy industry where the typical person in it is a 59, 60 year old Caucasian male. And here we are, we're infusing it with multicultural diversity and younger folks at that. C, work smarter, not harder. In fact, we covered some of this during a Sunday night Bible study of whether or not you would chop down a tree with an ax or a hammer. Now, both of those tools will get the job done, but one of them is just unnecessary, brutal hard work. Well, let me ask you a question. As you get older, wouldn't you rather use more of your brain than your body? I mean, you do want an intact body. You do want health on your side, wouldn't you? I mean, to be able to chase your kids and do activities with them without worrying about your knees, your back, your shoulders, your hips, right? And what's worse, and the last thing you would ever want to show for is to work into an industry that you busted your tail in. It's a, an insult to injury, your body is broken down, and you've got no money to show for. You're limited still on your activities, you're limited on your options, you're limited on your, your healthcare and quality of life. I mean, what was the point? And see, that's the danger of working hard in the wrong industry. Not to say that you're not noble in working hard, but you just worked in an industry or a job that just wasn't going to pay you. Now, to the third and final point. Agents are needed, women are needed, multicultural diversity is needed. Folks, this is a blue ocean, calm, no competition, no red ocean, you know, where there's sharks and blood in the water. This is a blue 
ocean. You see, this isn't the 1960s and 70s anymore. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the non-Hispanic white population is expected to drop from 60% down to 44%. And the insurance industry, it's filled with the average agent being a 59, 60, 60 or one year old Caucasian male. So what does this mean? That the life insurance industry and the industry overall has to be able to change and to develop as America changes and develops into more uh, multicultural diversity inclusion to look like more like me and you. So in this clip, watch me break down why ages are needed in this industry. Let's check this out. We're in high demand. We're considered an essential business. Most industries last year contracted. Our industry, more specifically, our company expanded. Let me repeat that one more time. During the pandemic, PHP agency expanded. Where we expand to? Right here. We found Mike and Jack in October of 2020. We discovered some of you just recently in the last 90 days. And guess what? We're looking for more. We just saw the money that's here, the people, more importantly, the people that's here. We were just at the uh, uh, enterprise. So uh, we, we, I said, uh, uh, the lady asked me, so what are you doing here in, in, in Washington? I said, we're here building an insurance agency. Where at? Tacoma, Washington. Where? It's a good question. Don't know yet. Really? Why? You know why? Because we first build around people, then we find a location. E location's easy to find. Like last night, where were we at? The, 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 yeah, the, the, the high upper end of Tacoma, Washington. It's easy to find a place. You know what's harder to find? It's people. People. Uh, uh, you build people, and then people build a company. A company builds a location. That's our priority. That's our priority order. So we're looking for essential business. Guess what we're looking for, per, for first? If we're in essential business, essential career, guess what we're essentially looking for first? Essential people. Like people we can build around. That's why our wife was here last week. And that's why I'm here this week. I guess it's probably going to happen next month. Either my wife or me are going to be out here because we're committed to building the Seattle, Tacoma, Washington area. Because so many of us in this industry are such in high in demand. Like Oscar with, with the braids back there. He goes into the New York life business. Guess what they're going to ask him to do with his braids? Yo, bro. Right? Real right. Kenny, Yo, that tattoo on your neck. Yo, like the first time I'm telling, bro, nice, nice freaking neck tattoo, bro. What's it stand for? You think these, these guys coming into a new Northwestern Mutual office would hired <laughs> right away? <laughs> Guess what? I was asking you guys, you guys got the, how many tasks you got? The, the traditional insurance engineer interviewing you guys? You know, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? So it's high in demand because we need to incorporate more multicultural diversity. And by the way, ladies, ladies, let me tell you something, ladies. Guess which gender naturally does this well? You. Yeah, the, the, the ladies do this business a whole lot better than the guys. Why? Guys, when we get money, what do we do with money? We do dumb shit. <laughs> right? Why'd you, right? Why'd you buy it for? I don't know. Buy big speakers. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? Why? Because it's bigger than the last one. <laughs> That's why we... Yeah, big. Why? Because it's bigger than the last one, babe. It's got this special technology in it, babe. I, I, yes, my wife, Sheena. I can't tell. Oh, well, I can't. <laughs> Ladies, when you naturally have money, what do you naturally want to do with money? Protect it. Secure it. Boom. Oh, nest egg. Right? Guess what other leaders want to do? They want to talk to other ladies with the same values. With the same principles. And just so you know, ladies, the highest income earners at our company, at PHP AT, are who? Ladies. My wife, million dollar earner. Her best friend, Ceci Vargas, million dollar earner. Her other best friend, Marlene Gaetan, million dollar earner. Other good friend, her sister, Erica Del Toro, million dollar earner. George Palayo, million dollar earner. The top income earners at a company, four out of five are women. And so we're a combination of a couple of things. I'll put this up here. So people want to know, well, how do we get business? Imagine an insurance agency where the average agent is a 30-year-old Latina. Yes, it exists. And we are way ahead of the industry in its ability to help the multicultural families. This is what is called a blue ocean from the book, The Blue Ocean Strategy.
So why try to compete in an ocean where there's sharks and again, and there's blood in the water when the opposite is true, where there's a blue ocean and there's nobody competing in that marketplace. What you have, my friend, is a blue ocean right in front of you. This is why the life insurance industry holds the opportunity for you to become a first generation cash flow millionaire. My wife and I, we did it and we're just your average Joes. And guess what? We're not the only ones making money at this thing. We're not the only ones experiencing world-class travel. Again, I'm just sharing with you, I'm doing this video right after we came from a trip. We took 400 of our best people in the company to a trip in Maui. We literally reopened up the economy over there because the hotel we were at, we opened up with the largest group of people they've experienced since the pandemic. More so, this industry and our platform has paid my wife and I over $6 million in the past six years. Better yet, we paid our agents over $13.5 million in commissions in the pandemic of 2020. So why can't you be next? Now, before I let you go, please check out this video right here of how we took a $500 investment into business and created a $45 million company in just five years. And in that video, I walk you through the process of how I transform my life, our business, our income, and those around me in just under five years. So I wanna know your thoughts, your comments, your feedbacks, please drop them in the comments section below. If you have questions, please drop them in the comments section below. If you're watching this on Facebook and you haven't followed our Facebook page yet, please click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.